So I got started back in the sport of drag racing just growing up in Chesterfield, New Jersey, right between Akko and Englishtown, New Jersey. And uh, my parents, from my grandpa down to my uncle and my father, I mean, they were sportsman racers, racing super gas and super comp, and it's how I love for the sport. I've been drag racing now as a professional for 10 years. This is my 10th season, and uh, my first year in Top Fuel with the Mako team, with the Mako Tools team under Daver Powers Racing. And uh, it's just one of those deals where you finally make it to that pendulum up here in Top Fuel, and you're smiling every day because you're pinching yourself, saying, am I really doing this? When you're growing up as a young kid like myself, I always had a love for Top Fuel and Funny Car. I mean, they're premier classes of drag racing. This is where you want to be at. So when I was racing Pro Stock Motorcycle, that was kind of my stepping stone to get to the big leagues up here in uh, Top Fuel. And uh, this is a place where we all want to be at, but just got to get the opportunity. And uh, we've just been real blessed to actually have this opportunity. And uh, I'm living the dream. I'll never forget, I was in church one morning, and our pastor, Pastor Spencer back there, he, uh, back in Trent, New Jersey, he just talked about, you know, faith. What's your undivided faith? Like, what do you believe in? Where are you going at? Where are you headed at? What's your road lead? And uh, I remember when he touched on so many key elements about how family and strength and how the Lord makes us into the people that we are. I mean, I started thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And it was just that one day when that switch went off in my mind. And just my whole life, I turned my whole life over to Christ. And I never looked back. And then, all the things that I always thought that was so hard in life wasn't so hard anymore. It was pretty easy. It was self-explanatory. It wasn't no more trying to do something. It was just happening. And, uh, and that's what we try to overlay and, and push to all the people out there today is just let's give it to them and, and let it happen. And when you do that, life is so much more easier because you're not trying to fight the fight. You got somebody that's a lot stronger fighting the fight for you. And, uh, and that's what happened that day in church. And uh, from there on in, my life has been a, a whole totally different path. Things that I thought I'd never be able to do, I was able to do. And things that I believed in was just undeniable faith that I let myself go and believed in it. And now I'm just reaping the benefits from it where I'm just leading the life that the Lord wants me to lead. I learned at an early age that, you know, a lot of people so easy to do to use God as a spare tire. And that's not what He wants you to do. He wants you to have a relationship. I mean, church and everything else is great, but one thing that you learn is the relationship that you have with the Lord one-on-one. -on -one. And the thing about it is, I use him as all four tires. He is my life. He is my backbone. He's the one that makes me strong every day, day in and day out. Every time I wake up in the morning, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm too blessed to be stressed, as we always say. And, uh, we're smiling, and we love what we do, and we're fortunate in what we do. And he gives us all different strengths in life to actually go out there and actually support him and actually spread his word to bring other brothers and sisters along to him. And uh, that's what we're out here to do. We all have a special gift. It is. He gives us that so we can use it to bring people on to him, and that's what the whole deal about it is. I've been involved with Race for Christ ever since I first started racing. When I first came out here, uh, I grew up with a real religious family background. We grew up as Baptists, Christians, and now we just go to non-denominational churches, and uh, Races for Christ is my home now. I mean, I'm out on the road 24 weekends out of a year, and when you're out here, I'm amongst all my family, my racing family out here, and Linda and Larry and all the members of Races for Christ and even Mickey and Beth Prestes, I mean, they're the ones that really started me back in the day with Races for Christ. When you come out here, it just feels great to have a part of home with you. You go out here, you get the fellowship with all your brothers and uh, sisters in Christ, and uh, it just gives you that feeling of just relief because you're able to just, you know, just study and actually go in the Bible and pick up different verses and forms and learn more and more about Christ each and every day and learn strong because when you're out here on the road so much, that path it just gets narrow and narrow and so easy to fall off that path. And when you come out here with your brothers and sisters in Christ, like Race for Christ, it just gives you that more strength to keep on fighting that fight and fighting that wall. Well, trust me, I mean, as everybody says it out here, Lord knows, when we put them helmets on, we're at each other's throat. But, uh, but besides that, once we take those helmets off, that's what it's all about. We have a great fellowship out here. We all are brothers and sisters. I mean, we all want the best for each other. We pray for each other's safety. We want everybody to be, you know, successful in life. And being successful is putting God first. So uh, that's what we portray to each other. And you can see as we meet here under our RFC 10 here every Sunday, it's every racer along this alley here meeting with each other. And we're fellowshipping together because that's how we truly love and care about each other. That's the way God wants it to be. That's the way we intend it to be. 
but we were out there racing. That's what it was all about. That's for fun. We're going out there trying to see who's the best, and we're at war with each other. So that's what you do in racing. I have an ultimate deal of faith where I can actually drive a top fuel drag driver 330 miles an hour because I'm not scared doing it. I have an undeniable faith and I just let my heart and my passion, desire go for what I want to go for. And the Lord knows what I mean, knows what I mean, knows what I stand for. And I know I always got him holding me and, and pulling me along the way. And you can see it day in and day out because every time I got out that car, I got a smile because life can't get any more better than be out here amongst all these fans and showing and being a testimony of the Lord in front of them.